Today we're going to be doing a step-by-step -step video on how to install a breakaway system for the RVI brake. We're going to be using a 2004 Jeep Liberty for our vehicle today. Uh, the breakaway system should take approximately a half an hour to 45 minutes to install. Let's get started. The breakaway consists of a junction box, a wiring harness, an interface for the RVI brake, and then the pull pin that is removed in the event that the vehicle becomes unattached from the motorhome. To start, we have to find a convenient place on the front of the towed vehicle for the junction box to mount. Uh, this needs to be normally upside down underneath the bumper of the towed vehicle and back far enough that it doesn't run into anything when you're parking the car. Once you've found a convenient location to mount the junction box on the towed vehicle, you want to remove any of the debris that's on the bumper because we're going to first apply the breakaway with double-sided tape. This is going to only help secure the breakaway switch along with the bracket that we're going to mount next. Uh, once you've mounted the breakaway switch with the double-sided tape, we need to put the bracket onto the uh, breakaway switch and mark our holes where the screws are going to go. This is what's going to hold the breakaway against the bumper and then the velcro holds the breakaway switch from going coming forward. Once you've marked the holes for the breakaway mounting bracket, we need to remove the breakaway out of the way so that we have room to drill the holes. Uh, today, since we're going into a plastic bumper, we're just going to use an eighth inch drill bit and drill holes through the, through the uh, plastic where we marked our holes. Uh, now that we've drilled our eighth inch holes for the mounting bracket, uh, we need to attach the bracket using the two sheet metal screws supplied. Now that we have the junction box of the breakaway system mounted on the uh, bumper of the vehicle, we need to route the wiring harness from the junction box back into the engine compartment. To do this, it's always more helpful when we can use a, uh, a piece of wire that we can use to pull the wiring harness up into the engine compartment. After pulling the wiring harness into the engine compartment, secure the wiring harness using one of the five wire ties provided. From inside of the driver's compartment of the tow vehicle, locate a convenient place to route the wiring harness. Use of an existing rubber grommet is always easiest, but in some cases, a new hole has to be drilled in the firewall. Feed your pull wire through the rubber grommet from the inside of the towed vehicle, and use this to pull the wiring harness through the rubber grommet into the driver's compartment. Black electrical tape is handy for tying down the hook on the pull wire. Also, using some soapy water to lubricate the line always makes it easier to pull the wiring harness through the rubber grommet. Only pull approximately 24 inches of the wiring harness into the driver's compartment of the towed vehicle. The rest of the wiring harness will be wrapped up and secured in the engine compartment. 